thank you for joining us today on Coffee With. As you can see, we are not at the Daniel Boone House. We are at K Hits 104.5, soon to be not the location. Yeah, this is a, we're about to move over to Belmont Street. In fact, uh, one of our stations, River 101, at two of our stations, and the 92.7 The Touch are already at the Belmont location. Yeah, so y'all are vacating the premises. Yes, yeah, we are. Getting yeah. the Moving to our new home. That's right. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're here with Burks and Evelyn, and we're not here to talk about the move, although that is exciting. We're here to talk about the... I can't say it. The Chili for Children Cook-Off. Chili for Children yeah. Cook-Off. Okay, so tell me a little bit about it. Give me all the details. And well, it's a, the basic premise is that we're raising money for the Warren County Children's Shelter. That's what it's all about. It's about the kids. And that shelter's been around for, I don't know, close to 100 years? Yeah, long, if long time. If not 100 years. So it's one of the oldest in Warren County, and it's one of the biggest, and they serve so many children here. So, And they need to replenish their funds, and this is a great way to do it. So is this the fourth year y'all have done this? Do y'all know? Fourth it's fourth or fifth. I think fourth we're calling it the fifth annual children's Okay, so call. tell me about all the festivities and what people can expect if they want to enter, if they want to eat. Where's it going to be? Well, we can tell you all about the eating part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really, really well. Well, it's going to be at the Lady Luck Casino outside there. There's a big field up beside the Lady Luck Casino. Okay. And that's where it was held last year, and they're one of the great sponsors of it. And it's a, it's a big big deal. Last year it was really, really bigger than we've done before, so we thought, you know, we're going to amp it up a little bit this year. We've got a bigger kids zone. Uh, the Patrick Smith Band is going to be our live entertainment. Right. And in the past we've had uh, city officials and some television people that have been our celebrity judges, and this year we decided to take another route since it's basically for the kids we thought let's get something that the kids really enjoy we're bringing in superheroes oh wow so batman and the batmobile is going to be here and some other superheroes i'm not going to mention just yet <laughs> but uh it's, it's going to be a big time and they're going to be the judges and you can take uh, pictures with batman and the batmobile and the other superheroes and some of that money goes to the warren county children's shelter also excellent yeah. So when is this, Evelyn? It's uh, January 25th from 11 until 3, like I said, in the arena part. It's a nice fenced-in area. Your kids can run around, play in the kids' zone, which is going to be much bigger than it was last year. Um, and so they can play safely. Mom and Dad can walk around, eat, listen to the Patrick Smith Band. It's going to be a great time. So you can come as a participant. Yes, you can. Or you can enter as a competitor. Yes. Right. And if people want to come and enter as a competitor. Do they cook the chili at home or do they bring their stuff and cook it there? We've seen it done both ways. Okay. Uh, we've seen people bring it and warm it up, but part of the fun of it is is getting out there early and actually starting it. You know, we're out there setting up. In the past, we've been up there like setting up 7 o'clock in the morning. And when you get out there and you start smelling that chili at 7, 7.30 in the morning, you get hungry. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's a, it's, it's a fun thing to watch the folks just kind of get around. And it reminds me of a big old tailgate party you might see at Ole Miss or Mississippi State or something like that. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of vegetable chopping and things like that going on. Bark. <laughs> Perhaps LSU. LSU. No. LSU is a lot of fun. They, those folks can cook, I tell Good you. Good save. I'm not, I'm not saving. I'm telling the truth. I'm sorry, Evelyn. I got distracted because no one That's mentioned okay. LSU. That's okay. No, what I was now saying was knows. there's a lot of vegetable chopping and preparation, and they get really intense, and you know, everybody puts their chef hat on, and they turn oh, into a cooking serious. expert. I mean, gotcha. it is, it's big time. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, I heard um, Jay and Christy Whittington talk about one of their chefs is wanting to come and participate in it. It is quite sure that they're going to win. Okay. Apparently, he's spent the last year in preparation for this. The last year? Apparently. That's scary. There are people that are taking this very seriously. <laughs> well, good, good. We like so, serious. So, people can just come out, buy tickets, it's walk $5 in. $5 at the gate. Okay. And then if they want to... Um, compete, what do they need to do? They just need to call us, 636-2340, okay. and we'll supply their application, they pay their fee, they're in, the fee goes straight to the Warren County Children's Shelter. Every dollar that goes into it goes right back to the and shelter. And what is that fee? Uh, I believe it's $35. I believe it's 35 for individuals yeah. and 50 for corporate. For corporate. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. so we're asking, we want a big variety of all sorts of people, businesses, everybody. Yes. Now this year also, some different things, we're having different awards too, like the People's Choice Award and some other things that we're not, we're not coming out with everything just yet, but it, the years past, we've just had the overall winner. This year we're going to have, uh, I think, three or four different kind of sections of winners, so it's going to be a little bit more of a uh, competition than in years past. Uh-huh. So. 
Yeah, the comp competition does get a little, I, the People's Choice Award is, a, a, that's kind of a new mm -hmm. part of it. Um, people were asking for it last year, and so we're going to do that again this year. Okay, did I understand what, what you tell me about the, the children are going to judge the chili or the superheroes? The superheroes are going to judge the okay. chili, but they're there for the kids because it, it's, a, it's a basically a kid's event, no matter how you look at it. It's benefiting okay. Warren County Children's mm -hmm. Shelter, so we just kind of thought, what better way, what identifies more with kids these days than superheroes? Because everybody, you go to Walmart, you go anywhere, you see kids running around in an Iron Man t-shirt or Batman shirts. The kids really identify with superheroes, and that's something that really kind of resonates even with some adults. It's not just kids that identify with superheroes. That's right. Right. This is uh, true. There's a Batman yeah, if you, right yeah. here, right off camera. And there's one over there. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, I was, wait, I was going to tell y'all, when you speak with Batman, if Robin is not able to make it that day, I'm available. I, I will pass the word along because I've, I've got the bat phone. I, I've tried Chris Hemsworth. He's, he I said he's busy. He got it. So. No, I, I, I know I got it. I know I got it. We, we got it, Robin. Because, you know, when I was a kid, like I'm old, right? Mm -hmm. And so I watched the real Batman. No, mm -hmm. you're not old, Robin. Do and not agree. <laughs> God, what have I taught you? And so my brother and I would play. We would pretend, right? Mm -hmm. And so he... I always wanted to be, right. and he always said, no, you have to be, <laughs> you have to be right. right. <laughs> okay, so we want lots of people there. Yes. Um, it's a huge fundraiser. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of fun, too. We pray for great weather. So far every year, we've gotten decent weather. Really lucky. So, Excellent. Hey. Excellent. Last year, I believe we raised close to, was it $10,000? It was, it was right That's around, nine, mm -hmm. a little over $9,000. Yeah. That's an astounding amount of money. And that was without Batman. That was without superheroes or anything. It was a lot of people coming together and a lot of hard work. And we're getting uh, the same people, some new people, but still a lot of hard work coming into it. So we're hoping to, uh, you know, significantly increase that amount. But if we make that much or close to it, we're still going to be really yeah, happy. that's amazing. I know they appreciate that. Well, thank you for letting us come into your almost studio. Almost not home. Yeah, almost <laughs> not home. Well, we're and, glad um, to have you at the Burks Cave. Thank you, the Burks Cave. I like that. See.